Hello, welcome to Mystic Energy. I am here with your mid-month reading for May, for the time frame of May 15th to May 31st. Um, this is going to be a general reading. Whatever comes out, comes out. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> well, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. And say it with me now. There are what? 999,000 other readers out there. If it does not resonate, you don't have to let me know or any of that. Spin the block, go find someone else that is in your tribe and that you can resonate with, which means it applies. It makes sense when you hear the reading, okay? Because I know I have some newcomers, so that's what resonate means when a reader says that. Um, or you might need to get a, a personal to tap into your own individual energy um, so you can see what's going on just for you specifically. If it does not apply or some parts don't, just take the meat, leave the bones. It's going to be a little bit for everybody or it'll just apply to you fully. If you want specifics, like I said, just reach out to me at mrvenergy at gmail.com or on Wizio to book a reading with me on my scheduler. All that information will be in the description box below. Hello, Virgo. You know, we always have a good time. So uh, let's get started. First card out. Ooh. Ooh, y'all got some stuff going on here, Virgo. Uh -oh, okay. Here we go, and bottom of the deck. Ooh, this is all about you. It's giving me time. I'm hearing me time. Time for me, okay? First card out was trust the divine plan. Next card was make a plan. So, ladies and gentlemen, the word of the week or this time frame is plan. And that's what Virgos love to do because they're very detail-oriented. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Some of you guys can be speaking, uh, going to school for speak, speaking. I'm hearing social services as well. And we have go for your dreams. And at the bottom of the deck, we have live life to the fullest. So, this is... <laughs> Yes, that you you are in your glow right now, Virgo. I like it. Your energy I'm feeling right now is nice and classy, and it's like I'm just gliding along. Um, so yeah, trust the divine plan. Make a plan. So it's like trust what you like. If you're making a plan and you have goals and things that you want to do, trust it because those downloads and intuitive thoughts are coming for a reason. It's the divine plan. So make sure you co-create with it by also making the plan because we can be all up in our head. Holy Spirit can be giving us downloads and plans and things we should be doing and then it'll just stay up there for years, locked away until you die. So we don't want to do that. You have to co-create with Spirit and put the action in. So it's trust the divine plan. Yes, I'm gonna, I have a, uh, God has a purpose for me. He has a plan for me. And then we are universe or whoever you know you talk to. Um, but now it's like you putting in the effort to help make the plan. And then you had go for your dreams and live life to the fullest. So this is, I'm hearing go for what you know, okay? Uh, strike while the, while the iron is hot. I'm hearing a lot of these sayings in my head, okay? Yes. So you're making a plan, sticking to it or need to. Or you need to get your plan out of your head and put it on paper, okay? And go for your dreams. Look, what? Hey, so wands. One, so you guys can be seeing ones, elevens, passion, ignited. Yes, Holy Spirit is giving you this extra energy. You can be feeling, yeah, I'm hearing gusto, gumption. Um, yeah, you got the energy right now. And like I said, it just came out the heavy retrograde energy. So you might be feeling good right now. Ah, shadow came out with base chakra. Again, another one. We have one passion ignited. We have one base chakra, which is the root chakra. Um, I've been working on that one myself. Because that's the first chakra. And shadow side. So it seems like you're trying to get back to the basics, I'm hearing. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have spiritual union. But I feel like it's the energy of coming in communion with Holy Spirit to make a plan. I don't feel like this is another person. Could be. You'd be making a plan with a family member, a uh, business partner, a relationship. But I'm, I'm, for most of you guys, it's working with Holy Spirit and co-creating. Also, we have the two images here. You see, one is the shadow. And one is actually the spiritual union here. So it's like you're elevating out of your shadow sense and into a more harmonious uh, with your higher self, okay, and Holy Spirit. But yeah, that passion is ignited. You're starting from ground zero. You are making a plan and you're going for it. I don't know what this is, but um, yeah, you see the light in some way. You're striving for the light. I don't know what you got planned, but you got plans, Virgo, okay? So maybe to go into more detail as we move along. Yes. 
Yeah, I'm seeing planners, schedules, vision boards. Okay, somebody is on it. Eternal gatekeeper, acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. I told you, you're, you're being very assertive right now and moving forward. Um, you can have your hands in a lot of things. On this picture, I can't help but see that she has a lot of hands. So you can have your hands in a lot of endeavors and different things. Multiple streams of income. Multiple endeavors, okay? Mm-hmm. But she looks very stable, all right? Um, can't be knocked down. That's not the word I was looking for, but close to it. We have forgiveness, 26, which is an 8. Um, and 32 here for eternal gatekeepers. So that lets me know it's a lot of things changing. Hurt blocks our light. This is the second time we're seeing light. We had a uh, light at the bottom of one of these decks, but I didn't pull it right here, but we seen the light. And then we have forgiveness, hurt blocks our light. So you could have been working on your heart chakra or needing to as well, so that it won't get in the way of what you're trying to do. So if you're going through a heartbreak or a family member let you down or you lost something, um, we need to clear out that energy first, okay? But you could have went through that and you see the light. Another one is on this card, I see it too. So we had the light here at the bottom of this deck, reaching, striving for the light. Then we had forgiveness with this light. You see how that light is shining on her? Uh-huh. And then we have the light here. Yeah, some type of light shining on you. You could be in the spotlight. Maybe you're acting or something like that. And we have inner life. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. Yes. So it's like things could be really growing around you. Some of you guys could be gardening and whatnot. But it's like you're protecting your peace as well. Okay? Um, or learning to protect your peace. Okay? So we have here. My niece is in the background. So you might hear her talking randomly. Okay. Let's see. What's next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perseverance. I'm telling you, you are on the right track. You're persevering. Like I said, you're making those plans. You're sticking to your schedules. Okay. Some of you guys uh, could be um, running some type of race, a marathon. Okay. Even on this card, you see that she has one foot and she on one on the other she has a disability so some of you guys might be still striding through through an illness through a disability but you're still persevering and if it's not a physical disability or something like that it's mental and spiritual but you're getting through it uh this card also fill out trust okay the scorpio's got a lot of butterfly energy as well but i was just explaining this to them when coming out of the chrysalis and the butterfly uh um phase butterfly effect as well um, choices, um, leading your life in different directions, divine timing, energy. These two came out as well. Devotion. So some of you guys could be in the arts, dancers, singers, and also guidance. Some of you guys could also be readers and guiding people. Um, but if that's not the case, you are devoted to being guided and persevering and trusting the plane, as though we were saying earlier, okay? All right, so let's continue. So smooth right now. It was a little piece of rubber on me. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have my genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose. I told you it's some type of plan, some type of purpose you're working on. You have the desire, you have the passion to serve, okay? Wanting to be of service. And this is something that you genuinely want to do. You genuinely want to genuinely want to help people. I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great. I hang around like-minded individuals that want to get shit done too and accomplished. If, like I said, it could be a group of you guys or some type of business endeavor. Okay? When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for more myself. Okay? So, like I said, you are co-creating with Holy Spirit. You have been patient. I feel like you've had these thoughts for a while and now you're finally putting pen to pad and getting it done. And uh, what you can't get done, you put in Holy Spirit's hands. Okay, go ahead and handle that. Take the wheel, all right? Take the wheel. That's what you guys could have been saying. And now you finally can do your part by stepping in. So let's continue. Uh, Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted, okay? So some things, uh, you could have went through some things that you felt like was a waste of your time, a waste of your energy, but 
you got to go through some things. Uh, you had to go through some things to learn some lessons. It's, it's not a waste. It was not for, for nothing. Okay, let's continue. Uh-oh. None of them flipped over. None of them flipped over. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video, Virgo. Okay. Cat spirit, claim your independence. I told you, uh, we have one and three, which is four. Some of you guys can be seeing fours. You're claiming your independence. A lot of cards, but one did flip over. Magic works through you. Scarab, beetle spirit. Okay, so you guys could have been seeing beetles. Uh, could be paying attention to cats right now. Butterflies, okay? Magic works through you. Holy Spirit, the divine is working through you, okay? Helping you to be an instrument for others, all right? Yes, yes, yes. I feel like you're doing some type of service. I'm not sure what it is, okay? So let's pull some of these before we get into the tarot. I think I did all the ones I wanted to do. Okay, let's see. And for my OGs, y'all already know what deck this is. The level deck where it talks a little shit for the newcomers. And it actually cusses too many. Uh -uh. It won't even let me shuffle this deck. That might be where the Holy Spirit is saying be patient. You might be trying to do too much at one time. Don't do that. Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Also, you cannot help people that don't want to be helped. Do not waste your energy. I, I don't feel like this is love. It could be, but I feel like these are people in general. Don't waste your good words. Don't waste your advice. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your help on people or, or extending yourself on people who don't deserve it or not worth it look again don't talk to anyone don't look at anyone you need some fucking time alone and you know why because you're working on your plan this is giving me the energy of you're not able to pour into people's cup right now until you pour into your own get stable and then you can help people okay uh it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing excuse me <laughs> four wheelers and whatnot it's warm outside get your head out of your ass pronto so like i said it's you can't really see, um, you could be blinded by trying to help people all the time, but this way around, you're doing it in the right way. Let's say if, say if you always let people borrow money, then you'd be fucked up. Um, now, Holy Spirit gave you a plan to open a bank or something. I'm just saying anything. Somebody could be going through this, but I'm saying open a bank where you could be able to give people loans and uh, things like that. It's not like it's your own resources or if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Um, say if somebody always came and they never had food, okay, you're going to open a uh, soup kitchen or people always want to stay with you. Okay, I'm going to invest in a homeless shelter. We're going to do this the right way where it's counseling service and help you get a job or whatever. It's giving me the line. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. That, scared me. that scared me. Sorry, guys. I had to, um, our, ever since last night, our detector has been randomly going off. The fire detector, though, not even the carbon monoxide detector. I don't know what's going on, okay? It has batteries, it's functioning properly. Well, it's not functioning properly right now, but you know what I'm saying. It, we did, our, we, it, our pot has been done. It's new, actually, so whatever. Um, like I said, something could be distracting you as well, like that scared the shit out of me. Uh, but I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, like you want to help people the correct way. Like I said, if it's a homeless shelter or something like that, you want to... Uh, I mean, if people want to stay with you all the time, you open a homeless shelter or whatever the case is. Doing it the right way where it's not draining you per se and your funds and your, you know, imposing on your life. Being able to help people the correct way. Okay? So let's pull some of these. Yeah, it went off randomly last night twice. Nobody's cooking a fucking thing. Okay. Continue. Okay. Um, we have oh my crystal. Anybody else put their some of their crystals in their bras? <laughs> Probably from the way I jumped up. Uh, we have the hopeful. The power of prayer and meditation can wake you up, renew your faith. Help you attune to your needs and align with your deepest truths. Like I said, you have to take care of you. There are a lot of distractions today. 
Yeah, you can have a lot of distractions while you're on this new path, Virgo. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, we also have the peacemaker. Some of you guys could be seeing 22. It is time to make peace. You will get much further on your path. Again, another path and a plan. Through kind acts and words, then you will be by forcing things or, or vengeance. I told you, don't force your um, these conversations or any of that on people. Okay, oops. We have the siren. <laughs> Just like that stuff went off, but not that kind of siren. Allowing yourself to be distracted oh, from what you should be doing leads to procrastination, avoidance, and needless problems. Just like the siren. But you know, the siren was to sing and be beautiful while they the pe people in the boat come towards them and then crash to the rocks trying to trick them off like a distractions but literally we just had a siren so that's letting me know it's going to be things happening to throw you off do not let it oh that was a lesson in itself i'm gonna pull one of these because it's pulling me because it seems like you are doing something you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home, okay? Because, like I said, distractions will come up when you have a plan and you want to do better. You better know shit is, lower energy is going to try to bring you back down. We can't be having you out here helping people. Duh. Spiritual understanding. I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? All right, guys. This is awesome. So, let's move to some tarot. Let's see what's going on here. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Let me move the table back so you guys can see again. It's a lot going on. So it could be a lot going on with you. This is the only reason why I had all these distractions and madness happening. What is going on? So, don't allow that to happen. Don't allow the distractions. Just like the Holy Spirit was just saying. Deal with the distraction and continue. Just like I'm going to do. And I want you to get this little ring, Virgo, okay? You probably getting distracted looking at it. People probably calling your phone and people knocking on your door and shit. We got four wheelers, fire alarms going off. I'm dropping the decks everywhere. Oh. Too many. Oh, that one is to fly out, so we'll look rescue, okay? You could be some type of rescuer, okay? Addiction counselor, pet rescue, okay? We have action. I told you the passion. There could be a Sagittarius in your energy, but we have action. You are putting everything into action. Remember I said earlier, Holy Spirit has a plan, and you are now putting... You're co-creating by putting in the action. Dream. And I wouldn't even post a shuffle of these cards. I read the wrong bet. You see what I'm saying? Kind of off. Again, you, you're waking up out of the dream. Scorpio had this message as well. Your dreams, you are now putting into a reality. Okay? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is going to protect you from all these distractions. See? Knight of Cups. Yeah. Distraction. Filmmaker. Fortitude. Nine of Wands. Sticking to it. The Emperor. You can have the Aries in your energy as well. But that's boss energy. Yeah, you're going into the big in Aries energy. There could be a definitely an Aries in your chart. Aries in your chart or Aries in your energy. We have both the Aries cards. The Emperor and the Fool card. Um, but this is also going to be boss energy. Jumping off the ledge. Starting new things. New beginning. Putting in the work. We have the Knight of Cups here. Some of you guys could be in the Prince of Cups. So we have this fire sign and we have this water. Oh, my nose wants to itch. We have Aquarius as well. With this Knight of Cups, it is the seducer. It's giving me the energy of those distractions. She doesn't even know it's a crab in her glass. Make sure you're washing your cups and your drinks, okay? Your alcoholic beverages. Okay, I have to say what I see. Uh, you have a smooth operator. As soon as I seen it, it was like smooth operator. But I was thinking smooth talker. Y'all know that song. Smooth operator. So we have the star um, with the, which is Aquarius as well. Um, it's like you could have healed from people deceiving you or being naive. 
Uh, you're not as naive as you used to be. It seems like the more you're in your emotions, the more naive that you are, and you're pouring those emotions out. You've actually used those emotions to heal yourself. We have the Prince of Cups here. Yeah, people trying to paint you pictures and uh, want you to cast in a movie. It, look, it, it's your movie, okay, Virgo? Mm-hmm. It's like people want you in this box, but you, you want to just uh, live on, not the edge, but you, you want to fly by the seat of your pants. You want to do things that are not as logical and normal. Like people think the normal is getting a family, getting married, going to college. That's the norm, white picket fence, American dream shit. And you might be wanting to do something different, a little out the box. See, we have the kindergarten teacher. You know how they kindergartens, you can't tame them shit. They, they, they find in themselves, they find out what they like and what they don't. When they don't like it, they'll let you fucking know. Um, we also have the nine of wands here with the hide effects. You can have a, I know y'all always know I put that fake ass accent. I don't even know what that's the accent too. The Hierophants. Uh, we have the Hierophant here, which is a uh, Taurus. Um, staying committed to things no matter what. That's what you need to do because distractions are going to come your way. Okay, they're getting ready to come your way. Very well. I'm just saying get prepared for the bully bull because you are on this path. You're taking a leap of faith and you're going into boss energy. Don't let anybody uh, throw you up, okay? And put you in there. But also, um, be steer clear of a lot of drinking and drugs or whatever. That that's, can also be a distraction for someone. Even if you're drinking like martinis and, you know, margaritas, just kind of tone it down if you are um, doing a little bit outside of moderation. Uh, also, I cannot help but saying drugs next to this glass. Watch your drinks, okay? I don't really get that that strongly when I pull these cards, but they're making me focus on it today. Be careful of people trying to drug you. People would be jealous. I've, I've, I've heard of a lot of people that were doing good in life and people were jealous to put something in their drink and now they're walking around looking crazy. Like, don't let that be you. See, yeah, again, we're seeing these cups. Make sure you watch your cups. We have the two of cups here, which is love. Oh, and, and if they're not trying to put some in your cup or some people are trying to jump on your bandwagon, it's giving uh, a team that was losing all year and then they do a little better and go to the playoffs and then they sweep everybody. It's getting that energy like bandwagon. So, oh, man, we always knew they were going to... Man, we was th uh, zero and 30. You ain't... You, you said you kicked us to the curb so long ago, but now that we the won this championship, everybody, oh, everybody was down for us. That type of energy, Okay. Don't let the bandwagon, if they wasn't with you shooting in the gym, don't let the bandwagoners jump on, okay? Were they with you shooting at the gym? That's the real question. So we're going to pull some of these. It's like people want to come in as they see the fruits of your labor and shit. Like, no man, no man. Okay, we have society. We have affordable housing. Some of you guys could be uh, getting affordable housing. Section A, low income. You know, all of us are in different planes of life. And we have the Zodiac Killer. Yeah, you could be around somebody that does not believe in Zodiacs, okay? And we have another white rapper. So it's the, given the energy of, oh, this is the same old, same old. They're not really, uh, for some of you guys, you could be readers. I'm like, oh, well, we don't believe in that. It's the same old, same old. Everybody's the same. Aren't tarot readers scammers? Aren't they this? Aren't they that? Uh, yeah, society. They, it, yeah, this is giving me societal norms. Society, why don't you do what everybody else is doing? Affordable houses, you can't afford a mansion. Why don't you just uh, live in your means and all this shit? You're just another blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, it's just giving, you are not on my side. But then when shit started going right, people are like, oh, I always believed in you. I knew you'd get that mansion. Can I get a room? Oh, you're so different. I love that about you. But you was just getting down on me because I dressed in this weird outfit. But now you like the weirdness? Make it make sense. Okay. Or this could be you doing this to other people. Virgo, don't be that person. Moral panic. I'm telling you, it's like people are like, oh, but people don't do that. Are you doing that? A snuggie. Yeah, these people around you, they're having moral panic because you're doing things that are different and makes them nervous. Okay? They want to stay in their comfortableness. So when you start getting out of your comfortableness, people start looking at you because it makes them look at themselves like, I didn't pursue my dreams either. I'm just comfortable in my little two-bedroom house, and you should be too, Mabel. Mabel want to go live in a mansion. Leave Mabel alone and let her pursue her dreams if yours have already died. Good day. I don't like people that don't pursue their dreams, that they should die, and they want to talk about you, about your shit, and you trying to make it happen. We're not doing that over here. Thank you very much. Okay, maybe hopefully you get ignited so you can start doing your little passions again, goddammit. Leave me alone, you know? So, um, yeah, I'd rather be an example of somebody chasing their dreams than somebody that gave up on them, okay? Mm-hmm. 
It is what it is. I don't usually pull this back, but I'm going to go ahead. It's a very small deck, so. I think I got it from five and below. Mm, I knew this was coming out. I knew this was coming out. Yeah, we have jealous. <laughs> Evil eye. I'm telling you, people staring you down. Ooh, who do they think they are? You're taking your land back. You're, taking, you're coming back for what was yours. And fatal. People are not going to like it. <laughs> you're getting everybody all up in a tizzy, Virgo, okay? All right. So let's pull our um, affirmations, and then I will let you go. Today, I feel optimistic. Today, I will see the beauty and goodness in the hearts of every person I interact with. You're giving me an energy of opt optimism. Yeah, I know I'm a living dimension. I'm going to, but you got some dream killers around you, okay? Don't let them kill your dream. Keep that optimistic spirit, Virgo, okay? In this time. Gratitude. Today, I'm grateful for all the little things, even when the big things suck. There are always plenty of little things I can be at least a little grateful for, like hot showers and music. Sorry, my nose is itching out. And the fact that humans invented an internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to, using fingers and thumbs to do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. Be careful of, uh, I, I'm, I got the message, y'all got the message, but be careful of internet boxers, internet warriors, okay, talking shit. Especially if you like have a channel or something like that, you might see some negative comments. Let them blow over. I told you I felt hater in this reading, okay, for the new things that you are doing. Keep on the good foot, Virgo. And I love you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video as well. Bye-bye.